Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about pre-harvest intervals. I thought we were going to talk about thunder and lightning <laughs> going on behind us and why this rain is not hitting our field. I, I don't know, Brian. You know, there's a lot of things going on late in the season and a late rain would be wonderful, but if there's bugs or weeds or diseases that come into your field, you've got to start thinking about, well, how long is it until harvest? And number one, is it even worth spraying, which we'll talk about later in the show. But number two, can you even spray those products? Well, late? yeah, because you want to talk about the farmer's viewpoint. Our Farm Basics time is always about the non-farmer. So if you're a non-farmer, you're probably wondering about farmers spraying pesticides late in the season, right before harvest, and hey, doesn't some of that stuff end up in my food? Well, in order to get a pre-harvest interval on a chemical label, a major chemical manufacturer will go to the EPA and they'll also go to the FDA and they'll talk about these things and they will run literally, in some cases, millions of dollars worth of tests. So they will raise a crop, spray the product on at certain timings, and then they're going to, at the end of the season, in conjunction with EPA and FDA, test to see if there's still pesticide residues left in that particular crop. I think about a crop like soybeans, for example, and I'm not eating the soybeans right out of my field. They're going to get processed afterwards. Chances are a lot of those soybeans are going to run through an animal's diet, like hog feed, for example. And so there's another step before that actually ends up getting to us. But there are some crops, like right out of your vegetable garden, for example, that you may say, well, I've got tomatoes out here, and you know, is it safe to spray something? Because I'm going to harvest those tomatoes in three days or seven days. And that's why, as Brian was saying, the chemical companies will do a lot of research in conjunction with the government to see is it safe can I spray just a few days before harvest in a crop like soybeans those companies may not care at all they may say you know what I don't really care if we spray within a month of harvest so why do the testing to prove it's safe within three days or seven days it could be safe on soybeans right up until harvest but in most cases if they're within 21 days or 30 days and they can prove safety there that's about as far as most chemical companies will go so what Darren is getting at here is there are going to be different pre-harvest intervals for different crops and obviously for different pesticides. So you might look on the label of one particular pesticide and find that every crop has a different pre-harvest interval. It might be three days for this crop, seven days for that crop, 28 days for that crop. And you might look at that as, especially as a non-farmer and say, oh, something must be wrong here. Well, it comes back to what Darren's talking about. It's just the fact that the company didn't want to invest those extra millions of dollars to label something that isn't even necessary. I guess we would stress to you, look at the label, see what the pre-harvest interval says. And if you've got a short pre-harvest interval, like three days on a particular crop, you know that pesticide doesn't stick around very long in that crop. Well, the other thing is from a farmer's perspective, you've got to read those labels. And if you've got something going on, like let's just say you have grasshoppers that are out chewing off your pods in your soybean field and you're ready to harvest in a week. Well, if you look at the pre-harvest interval and you see that it's 28 days on a certain insecticide, don't spray. You can't be doing those things. It's not worth it. And the other side of that from the chemical company's perspective is they're looking at what pests can come up late in the season. They're trying to find ways to get their products labeled to control those because they want to sell product. They want to make money, but they're not going to do it where it's not safe. So you have to read the label and follow those guidelines. Well, one of the things you may look at the pre-harvest interval for is control of our weed of the week. Can you spray a herbicide close to harvest or do you have to wait a long time before harvest? We'll talk about that coming up later in the show.